Hello, this is just an update to my petition. I'm going to give a quick synopsis and then I'm going to give the update. As you all know, I was hit with a, an illegal judgment which caused um, an illegal garnishment of property other than wages to take place. And for 48 weeks straight, I was unable to collect one penny of my earnings working through Lyft Incorporated. In such, the courts, the lower courts, refused to hear and review the case, despite the circuit court with these same landlords, Henderson Webb Incorporated and their collection agency and representative, legal representative, group and associates of Towson, giving them the, I guess, the hard hand of in 1999, letting them know that this is illegal what you're doing, changing the statute of limitations in your lease from three to 12 years. They are continue, continually to do it this day, even after we've been to court. They are still continuing to take people to court after the three years. So this is what happened. After that last hearing in circuit court, I filed an appeal to the special court of appeals. The court of appeals had actually in 2000, for a case in 2018 and 2019, had put the stamp on this thing that says it is illegal, which landlords knew, it's illegal to change and modify the statute of Maryland statute of limitations from three to 12 years or three from three to any years actually is three years for residential lease contract period. So I called the court, which you can see here. I called the court and I asked them about ordering my transcript because I'm going to be appealing. Without, without my knowledge, the next day, somebody from the court, well, somebody from the court right after I did that, had to call these attorneys for these defendants and let them know what I was doing because the very next day, as you can see here, they filed with the court a um, satisfaction, um, a guarantee of satisfaction stating that I, as you can see here, paid off the debt, which you clearly know I did not do. Now, I have filed a uh, um, motion regarding that, asking the court to deny that satisfaction because it was done illegally and it was fraud as with the judgment and the right. As you can see, here's my filing here. And here's the court docket. This is why it is so important for you guys to sign these petitions, this petition, as well as donating to get me into the Special Court of Appeals to make sure that these laws get changed in a whole gamut of ways, not just what the court had already done, but extend it and make the punishment severe, as well as changing the consent judgment rules um, and, and making sure that when landlords or any creditor files against any debtor, that they are fully vetted to make sure that their filing is legal by law. Again, it doesn't matter what state you live in. You are subjected to have this happen to you. Believe me when I tell you mainly if you are self-employed, small business owner, independent contractor, or gig worker. So I just wanted to give y'all this update to let y'all know what's going on. And I'm asking again for y'all support on the petition, signing the petition, as well as any donations to help move this case in, into the court. I really greatly appreciate your time and your efforts and anything that you are contributing to this. Um, those who are sending cases and information to let us know that this is still going on with this particular landlord and, and actually one other. We greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much. Bye.